okay so hi guys welcome back to my channel and to another video um i'm sorry if the lighting is bad forgive me um yeah i don't really know what we're doing with the setup but hopefully eventually we'll figure it out um i want to kind of talk about today basically i feel like god put this on my heart i feel like i'm late like i should have been doing this in 2020 but in 2021 looking back at 2020 i realized how much 2020 um can't get right with the lighting i'm sorry um i realized how much 2020 really and i'm sorry if i look like a freaking wet dog it's just i'm sorry i need to get my lashes done they're they've all fallen out yeah um i feel like 2020 literally the the like saying for 2020 for me is like my light shines in the darkest places because i did not get you know i was manifesting so much before 2020 and you know having a new car getting my dream apartment which i'm in now um and having my dream job which is youtube it's just like i wrote all this stuff down i would say my affirmations every single day and i realized that i manifested things in my life that i truly wanted and i truly desired and i worked really hard like for this house and i feel like you know i need to make a video just saying like how grateful that i am and how blessed that i am and like i'm literally living in it like you know manifesting is real you know thinking positive really does um make a difference and <clears throat> you know there was a saying that, like i saw somebody saying like it's hard to do right when nothing's going when everything's going wrong so it's kind of hard to do right when everything is going wrong but if you think like that then that's exactly how your reality will be and in this time, everything was going wrong in my life. All odds was against me, literally. But I kept thinking positive and I had faith of a mustard seed. And I literally just kept pushing on. I kept pushing forward as far as what I wanted to do. And I just kept being driven and having that goal and just being really focused and like determined and going after like what I wanted. You know, which is like YouTubing and like I wanted to like move out of my parents apartment, uh, move out of my parents home because I feel like it was well overdue. You know, I feel like I'm an adult and I'm growing up and I have my son and you know, it's like what I wanted. So like when YouTube took off, I was very grateful. I was very blessed. Like I really could not even believe that it happened. Like I had a dream before it even happened. So like the fact that it happened is insane to me and I have to make this video to say thank you to God for making that even possible for me. Um, in 2020, this was the best year of my life. I feel like this was the year of me getting my feet wet and you know, I cannot wait to see what 2021 has in store for me and so on. Um, but this was the year that, that God kind of got me my first house, my first car, you know, responsibilities and kind of just like getting into the adulting you know life and things of this nature so 2020 was the year that i manifested so much you know material wealth and material gains in my life also spiritual okay the the non-physical okay i learned so much with my spirituality and just connecting with god and connecting with connecting with my higher self i have my i i don't know i just i feel like i've unlocked a lot of doors as far as you know, going down the rabbit hole and being able to see things from a, a whole different perspective standpoint. Um, I really dove really deep into my spirituality in 2020, and I got so close. I got so close to God. Like whenever the pandemic happened, like God is like 10 steps ahead, right? So he he already had me being by myself, having no friends, having no relationship, having no party life. Okay, I would be at the house, okay, studying, do, doing my research. Like, this is the time that I was figuring out manifesting and I was really studying and, you know, getting into tarot and just all these things. It was all part of, part, part of the journey for me. Um, and, you know, I, you know, was a tarot reader and, um, 
you know, I almost kind of lost myself within tarot and I almost kind of like felt boxed in regarding tarot and I love tarot and I love helping people and giving them guidance. But, you know, things like times are definitely changing as far as the tarot and I feel like I'm expanding and I'm definitely, you know, beyond tarot now. Um, I, it's just, it just is what it is and I feel it and people grow, people change, nothing stays the same and I feel like a lot of you guys understand that and a lot of you guys say you like this channel more so, you know, or you feel more connected to it I guess. Um, but yeah, like 2020 also has really taught me like to not give a fuck about what anybody got to say, like truly be your genuine, unique self. I really you know, five, five, five. I really changed, like my perspective changed as far as, because I was always trying to fit in and always, you know, just trying to be something that I'm not. And everybody and their mama knew that, that I was. And, you know, I'm really being myself now, being my true authentic self. Um, you know, a lot happened in 2020, a lot of, you know, a lot of amazing great things happened and then you know not this is like probably like first world probably like it's not even that big of a deal but you know some shitty things happen and but I realized them the shitty things that had happened and even in the past it has made me and molded me and who who I am today and I could not be just any more grateful or thankful for them lessons for those occurrences that happened in my life that weren't you know they weren't sweet they were very sour um but i definitely am proud of myself that i persevered um you know like in my family you know 2020 was the year that i broke a, 2020 was the year that i broke a generational curse within my family i am the first youtuber um, I'm probably the first like dropout, like YouTuber. No, nobody in my family has ever been a YouTuber. You know, nobody in my family has ever went like, like everybody is very traditional. Nobody goes the like unconventional route. And that's kind of like me. Like I'm very different and unique. I've always been the black sheep of my family. I've always been, you know, creative and talented. And I've always liked to express myself and things of this nature. So. Um, yeah, just kind of, I always wanted to implement that in, like in my job, you know, my mom wanted me to go to college, but I dropped out. I was in cosmetology. I did get pregnant, but I feel like I definitely stood against the grain and I stood my ground and I believed in what my soul was telling me that, that I am supposed and meant to be doing in this lifetime. And I do feel like it is, you know this youtube i don't know why i have such a calling for it but i feel like it's not just youtube it's definitely if you guys know me i, I definitely um was working a lot of my music and i love music so much like i don't do music and hoping to one day be a star it's just not me i don't care i've learned a lot about the music industry as well in 2020 and i've realized that like i just love doing music i don't want to do music you know and be famous and, and, and i just i just don't want to do that i just want to do music when i feel like i want to do it and you know when i feel like i have all that passion and i can you know go in the booth and create a beautiful song and put it out here for you guys and you know let it heal you guys because i truly do believe in music healing like i'll be feeling sick and this is even whenever i was a child right i'll be feeling sick and I'll put on music and it'll go away. It's absolutely insane. You know, a favorite song of mine, probably because the frequencies, I pick my songs by the beats. It's weird, unique, right? But yeah, like I just love music and I don't really care to be famous and shit. I really don't. Like I, I put my music out here for you guys to hear because I want to share my music because it's amazing and I want it to heal you guys too. Like I want you guys to feel amazing as well. So yeah, like that's something else that I really realized is, and that's kind of even like in the movie Soul. Um, I watched that movie Soul, and basically the moral of the of the whole movie is 
so wanted to be a musician and you know whenever he finally got his chance he realized like you know it's not even worth it like it's like what's the point like he thought it was his mission it was his mission to do music and then once he does it he's like wow this is it you know the moral of that movie soul is just to kind of enjoy life so i feel like in being in the present moment all right i feel like 2020 taught me to just be in the present moment just like be here be in the now okay stop chasing and running after things that it's good to have goals and yes we are here we're souls having a human body experience we're meant to experience food going to the fucking grocery store buying food we're meant to go clothes shopping we have to wear clothes we're meant to experience these 3d things okay but it's so easily to get lost within it okay and which is lost soul so you know it's always good to stay connected to that spiritual and learn how to balance the, the uh the physical so i feel like 2020 definitely taught me how to balance things out um you know and i'm not perfect but i definitely try every day to be the better to be a better version of myself you know i really do try i am very hard on myself but i do know that i have a lot of work that i have to do and i am very proud to say that you know i love the journey I, I love that god gets to teach me and that god is molding me into the woman who um the becoming today um but yeah 2020 taught me a lot i mean i learned so much about the music industry it's insane to me um you know going through, like going through this whole pandemic like it didn't really affect me it did not and i'm just sorry if it did to other people but you know it didn't really affect me like it did suck that I that like I didn't have like free will or whatever and I can't go wherever I want 12 12 but like God like I said God already had me 10 steps ahead of the game when it, when it came down to this you know God knew how much work I was putting in I was not shining I didn't I was getting any love and support and now I have so many beautiful loving supporters out there in the world and it feels amazing to know that these people like it's my family like i never even got this much love and support like from my family you know if that makes sense so i really do love my family if you are watching this i'm truly grateful for you guys they they really do love me and they do support me um i just want to say that but um yeah i've got so much overwhelming love and support from you who are watching this so i'm very grateful for that you know 2020 was the year that i created a youtube channel and i have created a supporter um that i have created supporters in my life basically like like people i've met so many beautiful new people in my life and it is you who are watching this and you who have been supporting me like 2020 to some people was the worst year but to me it was the best year it was so beautiful to me my light did shine through the darkness and you know i hope that it can continue to shine and touch other people's lives and i see how much you guys tell me how i inspire you and you know just th this and that and you know realizing how hard i am on myself it's it's kind of hard for me to you know believe you guys but like you guys see something in me that i don't see in myself and i feel like a lot of people who i've came in contact with they see that and you know they always say like it's such a shame that you are so like this on yourself it's almost like you know i don't know it's weird but i feel like god is showing me how beautiful that i am bits and pieces he's showing me how beautiful that i truly am he shows it to me you know just day by day and i'm forever grateful for that and i feel like he shows me how beautiful i am through you guys so thank you for showing me and being that mirror back to me okay i love you guys so much and i feel like this video is definitely over it's like overdue but this is what 2020 has taught me and i'm excited for 2021 and yeah I love you guys so much and I'm sorry if I look a mess. I'm sorry. I just got the shower. 
we self tanned i'm feeling very just clean got my little sockies on and yeah i love you guys so much please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified and i'll see you in my next video bye